and welcome to my channel. I'm Javier Fuenmayer and thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna be making three extra gimmicks and shipping them to someone anywhere in the world. If you want a chance to win that, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below letting me know what you like to learn so that I can start shaping the channel to fit you guys. You've already seen what the Torn and Restored looks like, but at first I had no idea that that's what it was gonna end up being. First, I started putting together the cards almost like stacked up, one on top of each other. After that, I started doing it sideways. I also tried the regular making the card so that it's backwards on itself, so you have half on the front and half on the face. And you can kind of see a little bit of that in this gimmick now, but eventually I had no way of actually getting all of the pieces within the one gimmick. After I knew kind of how I wanted the card to end up, I then kind of reversed engineered how was I supposed to put this together. Once I knew that I could make the gimmick all within just one card, I knew that I had something that was really special. And now you can see that just by looking at the end result, you can immediately tell everything that happened in that magic trick. You can tell that the card must have been torn off and then put back together in a weird way. So no matter which angle you look at the card, the card itself tells the story of the magic that happened. So I took two duplicate chord cards and a half card in order to make this gimmick. As you may know, cards are made of three layers. And what I wanted to do was use the core or the middle of the card as the structure so the card could all be one. I score the top layer carefully and I started splitting the card uh, with the front side first, the face of the card, basically. Since this is the side that faces the audience, we kind of want to have make sure that this looks better first, and then we'll move on to the back side. And if that rips, it's okay because nobody's really going to be seeing that that much. Anyways, it splits only to the middle. The other layer I'm going to do only if I want to give it out as a souvenir. If we do this, each layer of the gimmick, once it's done, it's going to be exactly three layers, which is going to match perfectly to a normal playing card. And that's why we can hand it out to the spectators for them to keep. The duplicate card, I fold it in half and I ripped it down the middle to make sure that you split the right side of this card that we just teared, hold the split card facing away from you and the torn card face facing you. Now, if you want to do the secret move with your right hand, you'll need to split this part of the torn card. And if you want to do the secret move with your left hand, you're going to need to do the splitting on this part of the torn card. I went with the right hand, so I split the first and last layer. We have this core exposed and we're just going to say, Goodbye to the core, because we're actually going to use the other ones as the skeleton. I should, I should mention that, that goodbye thingy that I was talking about. That is only if you're not going to hand out the gimmick to be examined or as a souvenir at the end. If you're just doing this for video, you can skip that, just use the whole thing, and it's going to look just as good with less prep. Then I add some rubber cement to both layers and I set it down so that it, they don't stick together. I'll put some more on this one. It doesn't have to go all over the place because it's only where those cards will meet. So you can leave the edges with no rubber cement. You can join me for a drink while we wait for it to dry for like 60 seconds. Now we can get started splitting that half card. Again, only if you're handing it out as a souvenir. If not, you can just 86 the splitting and use it whole. It's gonna look just as good, trust me. I place the front side, making sure that the side of the card aligned with the edge of the fold so that they would be perfectly matched. And then I sandwich the core. You also wanna put some rubber cement on the half card and you also wanna put some on your flimsy side of your whole gimmick. To finish the gimmick, we just need to get rid of all of the parts of the core or the skeleton that we don't wanna see. And once we do that, to truly finish, we fold back towards us and then down. To perform with the gimmick is super simple. All you have to do is hold the torn portion down with your thumb as you display. And you can also display the back if you want by covering it with your fingers. It's completely up to you. You now rip the top portion and I like to hold the bottom part of the gimmick with my lips. But feel free to keep it in your hands as you rip the top piece in half. I put the pip piece in my pocket because it's the last one to restore. So I'm gonna need this piece here first. 
Now, if you're doing it lefty, you're gonna have to do the opposite of what you're seeing here. You look at your piece and match it with the gimmick so that they're oriented the same way. You want to angle the gimmick this way so that they can't see the gimmick on this side and then also slightly down so that it further hides it from their view. I like to condition the dirty move that I'm gonna do by miming it once or twice and then actually doing it by letting go of the gimmick and slipping the piece under it and grabbing the gimmick. So you're basically switching those. From the front, it just, or it should look like the corner restores and then the middle portion of the piece restores as well. So this is your first restoration, technically. So then, as you show and adjust the card, you steal the piece in finger palm because we're getting the other piece. That's technically our reasoning for going into our pocket and stealing it. So we adjust, we steal into finger palm, and we go into the pocket. In reality, we're just ditching that piece into our pocket and we're pretending to pull the piece out. So, in all honesty, it is truly game over for them and you have pretty much nothing to do because at this point, you're pretty much done. You just pretend to fuse the last piece together and the less finger movements that you have, the more magical it's going to look. Now, all you have to do is just spin that bad boy around and enjoy the moment because you're 100% clean. Uh, unless you haven't showered yet. You can also do this by having your spectators sign the card. All you have to do is just put the card, the gimmick, underneath your deck, do a cut, keep a break, and now you just riffle force, cut the cards where they said stop, turn the deck face up, and have them sign the section of the card that you're not gonna be tearing away. In that way, they're gonna have a signed card. You can also, if you want, turn it over facing yourself and sign the other side. If you do do that, you're going to have to think about how your signature would look if it would have been restored in that way and then replicate that in that torn section in the middle of that card. By doing that, is going to enhance the fact that the card was actually ripped and it's the same one. I should also mention, I used to actually like performing it inside of the spectator's hands. They don't get to visually see it, but as you and I know, anytime we do magic inside of somebody's hands, the reactions and the feeling that they have, it is that much better. So give that a try if you want. All you have to do is just steal those pieces away, the extra pieces, before you hand it to them. And that's it. The point of this video is to inspire you and inspire me to take classic plots and turn them upside down or give them a little twist. So let me know in the comments below if there's any tricks that you would like me to apply this weird principle to and then we will be exploring those ideas in later videos. Once again, I wanna thank you so much for your time. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell so you get notified whenever I post another video. So I hope to see you on next week's Magic Monday. Once again, thank you so much for being here. What in the world? All right.